welcome to my new apartment here in Denver, Colorado. We just moved here from the Bay Area. Right now we're renting in this apartment and we could not be happier. I'm so excited to show you guys around today. I'm gonna show you guys the home decor, the furniture details. This tour has a lot of information in it, so I will link every single thing down below in the description box. I also have timestamps for today's video in case you guys wanna skip around and look at only certain rooms. I also have the blog post at the very top. That blog post has photos, everything linked, and it's just an easier browsing experience in case you guys wanna to refer to anything in the future. Now, a few housekeeping things before we get started. Today's video is sponsored by Interior Define. You guys, I've been working with them for like over a year now. I'm a purchasing customer. I purchased my dining chairs and my rug from them, and then they gifted me a sofa. The sofa was originally supposed to be for the house, but they ended up gifting me this one for the apartment. I'm so appreciative. I discovered Interior Define because I was looking for a custom-made sofa for a reasonable price. I walked into their San Francisco guide shop and worked with Veronica to create my dream sofa and chairs. You're able to customize your very own sofa or chairs online with over 70 different fabrics to choose from, both kid and pet friendly options, over 20 different leg styles, and you can customize the length and the depth so you can have the perfect piece that fits your aesthetic and space. I cannot wait to show you guys the sofa because it is literally the sofa of my dreams. So more about them later. And then the second shout out, I have to go to my designer, Andrea Sandoval. She is my girl. I found her through Havenly. This is not sponsored by Havenly. The second I saw Andrea's work, I was like, this girl is like the one. She styled literally so many rooms in that house and I pretty much adopted all of her designs for this place. So everything in terms of the aesthetic, all the credit go to her. I'm gonna link her profile down below for you guys to check her out. Andrea is just the best, so thank you so much, girl. All right, you guys, that's enough information. If you guys have not joined the Miss Louie family, please hit that red subscribe button and join us. We would love to have you. And if you guys wanna hit me up in between videos, you can hit your girl up at, at Miss EJ Louie. I love you guys so much. Hope you enjoy my new home, and let's get started. Starting off with the entryway, apartments is always hard. You wanna have like minimal stuff, but also maximize the storage. So here is our current setup. I have a mail station on the left inside. It's kind of like a drop-off point. I have this cute little minimalist wood organizer I got off Etsy. It's this sweet little shop from Australia. I have three pegs, one for the dog leash, one for keys, and one for my purse. And then it has just a nice little slot inside to put our mail in there. It looked kind of bare by itself, so I put a cute little mirror on the top of it. Honestly, it's a little bit too tall for me, but it just completes that little vignette. And then on the right-hand side, we actually had this extra full-length mirror, so we thought to put it right here so I can check my full body self before I exit the door. And then to the left of that space, we have our shoe bench. This is like our favorite shoe bench from Ikea. It fits a good amount of shoes, top and bottom rack. And then the bench itself is perfect for sitting down and putting your boots on and off. And then above that shoe bench, you guys, We've had this thing for like eight years now. It's these white stick coat hanger, and we have two of them, we put them side to side. It literally can hold so much weight. It looks so clean and almost like a little art piece, and you can hide the pegs or protrude them depending on how many coats you need to hang up. It's like fantastic. We've had this since our Texas home, okay? Then for pieces of artwork, I have one that's like a minimal with curved lines, and then I have this other abstract piece. All right, so then this is like the main landing area with more storage. Here we have this white lacquer storage console. I've also had this for many years now. In here we have like all of our main stuff that's like hidden. One drawer we have all of our winter accessories, our beanies, hats, gloves, sunglasses. And then on the other side we have kind of like knick-knacky stuff. Like the entryway junk drawer. And then underneath one of my favorite ways to organize stuff and just have hidden storage that looks good is just having really big baskets. I have two big baskets. One of them is called our Bagu basket. It holds all of our reusable Bagu bags. We use them every single day, whether it's to like get packages, go grocery shopping. I've got our whole collection in there. And then the other side is another random catch-all. I've got like the dog sweaters in there, our workout equipment, umbrella. That's like another catch-all. And then above it, we have a round entryway mirror. Mirrors are great because they open up spaces, you can check yourself. And I love this one because it has this like peg that creates more of a tall shape to fill up the space and the leather straps match with the leather handles on the baskets underneath. Speaking of storage baskets, I have two extra ones right here. I've got this little guy for all of our mail, 
receipts. We just chunk everything in here to like sort. And then the big guy behind it are the exact same ones under our entryway console. This holds like the miscellaneous living room items. We've got Boba's toys in there. I have these yoga blocks in case we're doing yoga in the living room. If I'm changing up my scene and I'm working at the living room, I like to sit on the meditation block. And then I've also got like my laptop desk and stuff like that. Okay, moving on to my favorite space in the entire apartment, the living room. It's our favorite place to hang out. We spend so much time in here and really the entire space came together because of that dang couch. The main showstopper in this room, of course, is our interior defined sectional. This is the Asher corner sectional. When Jeremy and I walked into the guide shop in San Francisco, we like immediately fell in love with the Asher collection. In my opinion, the Asher collection is like the perfect marriage between modern and traditional. The arms look like really sleek and futuristic, but the overall shape looks so comfy and inviting. We switched from a chase sectional into a corner sectional just due to the shape of this room and we could not be happier. It's got the perfect space to sprawl out, but we could also cuddle in the corner. In terms of the colors that I chose, I did the chalk colored from their Heather Weave collection. When I was working with Veronica in the guide shop, I was going back and forth between the chalk color and also this cirrus color from their Fleck collection, another kid and pet friendly option. I still love both of them. If you prefer something more cool tone and one color, I highly recommend you checking out the cirrus because that was my second favorite. But back to the heathered weave chalk color. It's this low pile, like really soft material that almost feels like chenille. I had it in my heart to have a white couch and I feel like this color was like absolutely perfect. It's a soft white, but it has like little heathered flecks in it. It is so forgiving. I literally smashed a chocolate covered pretzel in this thing and I was able to spot clean it out. And then to give it some height and a more modern aesthetic, I went with the matte black L-shaped legs. We went with the bench cushion because it was like a nice sleek silhouette. I didn't want too many lines. And it is comfortable from each end. The back pillows are so plush and dense. To have the couch that looks exactly like I would sketch out in my head and also be so comfortable, like we just love being here all day long. And that's really like the point of a living room, right? I will include all the details of what I selected for this couch and the picture of the configuration in the blog post. So be sure to check that out. They are currently having a spring sale, 15% off of everything. I purchased my dining chairs and the rug during a sale like this during Black Friday, but they're having a spring sale right now. I will link all the details of their 15% off sale for you guys down below in case you guys are looking for a new piece of furniture. I pretty much picked different pillows that were very tonal, neutral, light cream, black, and then I just varied the textures between things like mud cloth, heathered, plaid, tassels. I try to pick a nice mix of different patterns while still staying in the same neutral color family. This is the Shea rug I purchased from them. I feel like it's a perfect complement to the rest of the room. It looks like a cozy winter sweater and I love the fact that it looks similar to the couch but it's more dense and darker so there's enough contrast. It's a nice flat weave. I'm able to vacuum it and it is just so low maintenance and it looks gorgeous. Then for the coffee table, Andrea picked this one out for me. It is a gorgeous black coffee table. Even though it's all black, you have some texture because you have these thin matte metal legs and then the top is a wood grain so you can get some good texture there it's got a lip around the corner it's just perfectly minimal and modern and the legs look really nice with the matte l-shaped legs we got in the sofa going on everything in the apartment is like very white and light it's nice to have this like dramatic coffee table and then on top of the coffee table we have just a round marble shallow bowl and here we just have some decor pieces i've got a fake succulent i absolutely love fake succulents because they look so luscious it has such an organic shape and like a mind of its own and because this fake is low maintenance, <laughs> we have the TV remote. I've got a candle to light some ambiance. I've got my favorite crystal there. And then we have one of our favorite pieces in the house. It's this Rubik's Cube we got in Paris at the Yves Saint Laurent Prive Droite store. Sorry, I'm horrible at pronouncing anything. It's our flagship store and they literally had all of this like Yves Saint Laurent merch. And one of the things I had was a Rubik's Cube, which is like Jeremy's favorite thing. He's like a Rubik's Cube connoisseur. The gallery artwork is like my favorite Freaking favorite thing, I'm sorry. Everything's my favorite thing. <laughs> All thanks to Andrea. She handpicked a lot of these pieces. I think I mixed one or two of the things out of the original design, but it was like the perfect harmony of the black, white, neutral, with like a touch of tan. It's got a nice mix of abstract art and also photography, which I really love. And then for the side table, Andrea also picked this out from Anthropology. Again, everything is very neutral, white and black. So having an insertion of like wood, natural colors, foliage, this really hit the spot. It's got this really unique hourglass shape that kind of breaks up the modularness of the sofa. On top of that, we have my favorite tissue box cover. This is something we've also had for like years. It's like this white minimalist plastic cover that makes your tissue box look really 
really chic. And then your tissues come out of the little chimney on top. And then over here we have our TV console. We got this at Ikea a couple years ago. It is like the perfect, clean, minimalist, but ample amount of storage. I love the legs, it gives us some height. And then inside here, we just got like the mess of like cords, Nintendo Switch. I just decorated it really simply. I had these marble chain links I got at CB2. So I just lay them across the top. And then inside I have some of my favorite quartz that I got. It's really nice for meditation, just like. And then on the other side, we have singing bowls that we got in Thailand. As Marie Kondo says, you can change the energy of the room with just a little bang of a gong. The dog's like, what the f um, <laughs> Here we are in the dining room. This space is like triple use. We use it to eat for a dining table. It's also my daily workspace, like my home office. And then this is also our shooting room. So Jeremy and I both have been working from home together for two years now. Here I actually have ample space that feels really private and I'm able to like focus. I love that. The best part about this dining space is the windows. Like, Bar none. And I cannot tell you how happy I feel every morning setting up my workspace here. I get to see the Rockies. Whenever it's snowing, it's so magical. Whenever it's bright and sunny, it's so happy. So in this space, we have a dining table. It's called the Blocks Dining Table. It is like the perfect medium size. I got the matching bench. It doesn't look bulky. It could be tucked inside. It's like the perfect sandy, whitewashed wood color. It is just perfectly modern with those Parsons style legs that are on the outside of the table. Then on the other side of the table, I have three upholstered chairs. Originally, I was gonna buy the largest size of this dining table for our house, and it was supposed to have three chairs on one side, but because we had to shrink this down, I just tuck one on the other corner and then the other two sit on the longer side of the table. So the chairs are like vintage interior divine right now. They don't have their dining collection up. When they did a year ago, I bought these Audrey chairs. The fabric that I have on the chairs is the color wheat. It is a very hardy fabric and it's that perfect mix of like warm taupe and white and then because everything was kind of going in a coastal vibe here I have this braided jute kind of like a natural material rug on the bottom it's a little bit scratchy but it's also really durable and it has just like a really nice whitewash texture that matches with the rest of the aesthetic I got a little fur throw for the bench so for the office space conversion. I've got two things over here on the side that's specifically for all like my work stuff. I've got a lot of work electronics, so of course I've got a big old storage basket, my go-to organizational solution. Inside this thing, I've got all of my charging cables, different batteries, stuff for the laptops, all of that's kind of organized messily inside this big storage basket. And then I also have things that I use on a daily. I'm really into ergonomic workspaces, so I like to have the monitor stand to lift up the laptop so I'm not straining my neck. I also have a memory foam seat that I put on top of the dining chair so I can sit down and it helps alleviate pressure off my butt. And then I have a foot rest that I put on the bottom so that my legs are elevated off the floor. I've got my keyboard, mouse, my bullet journals. So I can kind of like set things up, work on my day, and then tuck it away for dinner time when we like to eat at the dining table. I also have like a good little tall stool that's super cute. I have my, my charging station here where I can file my laptop and my iPad Pro there to have a charging. And then when this is a filming room, we break out our white paper backdrop, which we have to hide in here because it gets so wet outside with the snow. And this is like the only place we can tuck it in. So we have that hiding in the back. We have to set up the whole stand and then put that whole thing up and then roll this back, roll the dining tables back, set up all the tripods, put the monitors on here so everything is converted it helps me obviously change whenever I'm filming but then we tuck all of the tripods and the thin lights behind it so we don't have to see it all day long out of the many things I love out of this apartment the kitchen was so awesome because there's so much storage and the aesthetic is just so beautiful I love like the gray tone wood cabinets, the beautiful backsplash that has like that marble color. Everything's really modern and sleek. Under the island, we have our bar stools. We've had these West Elm wooden bar stools from Texas. We love them still to this day. And then on the other side, we also have our favorite trash can. If you were ever to have a favorite trash can, this is our favorite trash can. It's a butterfly style, so it opens up like this and it's so slim. It fits nice in a narrow hallway like this. And then obviously, the kitchen's the kitchen. <laughs> I'm gonna skip on a lot of the organization for this video, you guys. I wanna do it separately. If you guys want it, let me know down below in the comments. Everything in the cabinets is pretty standard. And then we try to keep everything pretty minimal on the countertops. I've got a marble fruit bowl stand with no fruit in it. <laughs> Paper towels, and then we of course have our coffee station. We've got one coffee maker that grinds our fresh beans in case we want to make a really big 
pot, but if we want a singular cup, we are obsessed with an espresso for two o machine. I got that cute little retro white color, and it makes just a delicious cup of coffee every morning with froth crema on the top. So good. Then for our dish soap and our hand soap, I have these really cute amber glass um, bottles from Target. And then these kitchen mats. So I'm a huge Shark Tank fan, and there was a lady that went on selling like baby play mats. She converted that and made these kitchen mats that you can use in different utility places in your home. They look like a beautiful, like an old world faded rug, but you have like the thick, fat, plushness of a kitchen mat. It's incredible. Oh, and then last but not least, Boba Space. We have these cute little dog bowls that I got off Petco. They say good boy in them. They're like super minimalist. They go with the aesthetic like he cares. We wanted to get him a really functional riser that fits per perfect height. He's got kind of long legs for a small dog. Oh, I forgot to mention, last thing in the living room, we have Boba's favorite dog bed. I got this bed for him off of Amazon, but we added another layer of memory foam on the bottom and he's like obsessed with it. So he kind of hangs out there while we watch TV in the living room. And down this hallway, we have the guest bathroom. I have my favorite type of shower curtain, just a simple, clean, white, waffle knit one. And then for the artwork, I try to do like a nice coastal theme. I've got this like really pretty Malibu photograph, a black and white one of like a surf beach scene. And then I have this like cool, like stamped plant, black and white piece um, behind the toilets. And then for the rugs, I just got some neutral gray and white ones from Target. Then on top of the vanity, I have some of my favorite lotions I like to put on after I shower. So I just display them on a cute little marble tray. There was very low water pressure in this apartment, so we're trying to find some solutions to try to like maximize the shower experience. And y'all, we changed out the shower heads to these two different ones we found on Amazon, and they are like life changing. Our favorite one is in this bathroom. It literally feels like a freaking rain shower. I don't know how they made the low pressure into just. <laughs> but it feels amazing. And we actually added a filter to clean out the water too and it's just been so soft and like, we love showering in our showers now. Here is our office. We have literally tried every form of like office configuration that harmonizes with both of our work and I feel like this is like the best recipe we've had so far. So in this place we have where Jeremy works every day. He has a motorized standing desk so he can have both options. His desktop monitor set up but he also has his laptop that he works on. He's got his whiteboard. Basically the number one priority is to make sure he has a desk that he can work on and take phone calls, be presentable with a nice clean space behind him. Then the other half of the room is obviously for my space. So I pretty much come in here only when he's done with work. I have so many clothes that I have to organize, make looks, clean steam, and I've tried so many different solutions with like multiple clothing racks, cubby system, and this by far is my favorite solution I found. This is the Pax wardrobe system from Ikea. I have so many questions from you guys about what I use. I will link my exact code down below of the design I created in case you guys want to use that for reference. Plug that into the Pax planner code and you should hopefully see what this looks like. And then next to the wardrobe, we have this futon sofa. We actually were using this as our main sofa while we were waiting for the interior to find sectional. The actual platform pulls out and it folds open into a full size bed. And we don't want to get rid of it, so we just pulled it in here. We had no place to put our printer, so we literally put it on top of the sofa. That actually turns out to be like the perfect space for me. I'm able to do like all of my admin stuff on the sofa as like a workbench. I have tons of packages that come in. I use that space to crack things open, try things on in front of the full size mirror. After I select all the things I want to keep, I'm able to print all my labels out, package all my items, and get them prepped to take them away. And then for all the stuff that I want to keep, I can organize them in this wardrobe. I bring in some staples from my wardrobe in the other room, and then here's where I create my outfits. You guys know I create lookbooks like up to like 20, 30, 40 looks. So here I am creating all the looks. I'm taking pictures in front of the mirror. I'm organizing all the looks. After I mix all of my old stuff with the new stuff, I accessorize it with shoes, the bags. I use that little valet to hang the clothes, I steam everything, and then Jeremy and I drag all the clothes out to the dining room, set up the whole backdrop, get all the equipment ready, and then I film out there. Then here we have a closet, this is like the junk closet. It's got all of our board games, all of our extra technology, our travel bags, and because a lot of the carpet's more like dark brown, I wanted something lighter and brighter, so I just have a massive soft knotted rug that I got at West Elm that covers everything and it kind of lightens the whole room and lifts it up. And here we are in the master bedroom. Pretty much merged two of Andrea's bedroom designs into one. So for the bed, we have a storage bed. 
If you're wondering where all the shoes are, oh man. We pretty much put all of our shoes under the bed. I am so due for a huge shoe detox. I know y'all are gonna judge me, but this is a really great way to maximize the space. You pretty much are sleeping on your bed. It takes up so much surface area. Might as well hide a bunch of crap inside it. <laughs> we use these clear plastic bins to organize the different categories of shoes. All of my boots, they have boot fillers to keep the shape. I put them in dust bags. And then for all the other shoes, we just kind of rearrange them sole to sole so they're not all touching each other. And then for the headboard, I was missing an upholstered headboard. There's something that's so cozy and like really grounded the room so I have this nice neutral French seam upholstered headboard then on the each side of the bed we have the nightstands these are large size campaign chests Jeremy and I got these eight years ago at the San Marcos Williams Sonoma outlet oh my god I miss that outlet so much you can get so much good furniture they had a couple dings and cracks and like we didn't care I have so much storage in them we wanted to save money here so we kept these and then on top of them we have these really cute feminine table lamps that Andrea found. They have this nice like marbling on the base. Then the artwork on the top, this one I felt like spoke to the aesthetic of the apartment. And then on the bed, we have our favorite, favorite linens from Parachute Home. We love linen because we are heavy sweaters at night and it gives a nice natural texture. We styled it with a very simple minimal lumbar pillow that we got at Target. The squiggly lines kind of match really well with the artwork. We're not the type of people to manage like a ton of pillows on our bed. So it's just that simple lumbar is really sleek and minimal. At the base of the bed, you will find a bench. Andrea also found this one. I absolutely love it. It feels like it ties all of my favorite elements together. It's got that wood base for a little bit of warmth and then that lacing is just so gorgeous and it's airy even though it's a wood base and of course it ties all those colors in together. The very base of the bed is this cream soft braided rug. This is a super popular rug from Rugs USA. A lot of people use it I think for their nurseries. I thought it was so dreamy and soft and just that braided effect gives it a lot of bouncy texture. It's super cute. And then at the other side of the bed, I needed a place to get ready every day. So we found this dresser. It is so gorgeous. It is like that perfect oak color. Super minimal. I think it could fit with any aesthetic. And again, I wanted another wood piece in the room. Here I do my makeup every day and then we keep all of like our underwear, pajamas, like all the small intimate stuff here. And then on top, we have this big old honker that we cannot get rid of because we love it so much. This is a limited edition Fred Siegel by CB2 collaboration. Literally it's here because we can't find any other place to put it in there. I think it perfectly highlights the modular square dresser really well. I haven't styled this space too much. I think this is definitely craving like a plant or something like that. And then the final corner of the room, I actually have this ivory floor mirror that's coming. It'll be the perfect complement for that corner. I was tempted to put a chair there, but because I already have this bench and this bench already gets piled up full of crap, I don't want another piece of furniture that I'm just gonna pile clothes on top of. So I think the mirror opened up the room. All right, so let's move into the bathroom. I'm gonna do the voiceover here just because the fan turns on whenever you turn on the light in the bathroom. Our bathroom has so much ample storage. I'm so appreciative because we have a lot of like space on each side. On one side, we have two little thin bathroom trays or like faux marble. We have a lot of our daily essentials that we use every single day there. And the other tray is like new stuff that we're trying. And then on the other side of the sink, we have a skincare fridge. I store a lot of my favorite skincare in there. I find that the longevity for some of my skincare lasts a lot longer using the coldness of the fridge. And then we have a storage closet where we house all of our linens, towels, excess products. All of our excess bulk items go in that back one. Also in this bathroom, I found the best shower caddy. I don't know if you guys can relate, but man, if you got like full size products, it's so hard to get them like off the shower floor and then also strong enough to hold it. I found this amazing one also off of Amazon. It holds full size shampoos. On the back of the toilet tank, we've got the same white grid TP holder. We got another piece of modern art above the toilet. And then that leads into our master walk-in closet. This closet is like the biggest closet we've had since our Texas home. And it's been such a nice luxury. We've got a lot of dressers because we were planning to move into a home, but actually the extra Ikea dressers we had fit perfectly in the walk-in closet. So I tried to rearrange the closet to be like a nice walk-in experience. I had that little landing area in the back. It's got the dresser with a nice mirror on top. And then I organized the closet by blouses, blazers, jeans on the bottom, Jeremy stuff. Oh my God, bless my husband's heart. He is such a minimalist. He like gives me all the space in the world. He's like a selfless, amazing husband. And then on the other side, 
I've got my dresses and then extra pieces of outerwear. On the top of the walk-in closet, I have all of my tote bags. I tuck them all into each other and then line them up. And then we also have just like extra linens and pillows. I've got some different uh, baskets to organize different things. All right, and then for a closet hack, if you have builder style closets and you of course want to like stack things on top without things like toppling over, I was like, we need some kind of shelving system, but I don't want to like drill a bunch of shelves into the wall. So I found the Billy bookcase extensions at Ikea. The main purpose is for you to extend your bookcase to the ceiling. They're only $25 a piece and the actual depth was like perfect to the top of the closet. So we put four of them in there and I was able to stack all of like my bulky sweaters and like cozy stuff. I wanted to make the space feel more like enjoyable to be in there versus screaming every time I walk in. <laughs> all right, you guys, that does it for my Denver apartment tour. It's such a crazy time right now and just having any sense of normalcy um, feels really nice. So thank you for spending your time with me today. Again, everything that I could possibly link is for you guys down below in the description box and also on the blog for further details. And if you guys would like some more home decor videos or organization, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below. I love you guys so much. Have an amazing day out there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!